Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be using Visual Studios to generate a C-sharp class object to deserialize JSON. Hope you enjoy this video. Let us convert a file over it using a different type of method from JSON to C-sharp code. Notice that I have my basic boilerplate. I use system, system IO. I open up a file name. I then make sure it's there. I then use file and I read all that file and I put it into JSON text and then I use Newtonsoft to deserialize. Notice here would be the name of my C sharp object, but we haven't created that yet. And that's what this video is going to do. I'm going to show you how to do that. You will notice I have a folder called JSON and inside that folder I have a file called flag.json. This is the content of that JSON file. So what you want to do is highlight all of that and hit control C and put that into your clipboard. And once it's into your clipboard, let's come to visual studios, go to model and then come inside of where you want to paste that code and say, edit, paste special, paste JSON as classes. And then notice that it took our field names that were inside of our file and it did a one-to-one -one match. So it's going to save us some time for sure. We can see that already we've got a couple type problems. For instance, here we have a date and here it's calling it a string. But let's don't worry about that right now. And then on made by, notice it's null, but I know I want to use a string there as well. So just a few changes. It's not a big deal, right? I'm now going to take the name of this class object and I'm going to go to our program.c and see how I have these two dashes. I'm going to replace it in there. And now we should be able to compile and run this program. Let's do it. So we are now into our program. See if the file exists. Read all of that JSON into this. And then let's deserialize it with this object we just generated. Now look at this. Notice we have all the values. Now let's go, let's go do one change to that class object and let's kind of like fix it a little bit. We know we want this to be a date time and we know we want this to be a string. And look at that. Our class is now done. And actually, let's call this flag. So I'm going to copy this out. I'm going to come back here. We're going to call that flag. And then guess what? We're going to rerun this program and it's going to work perfect. I'm in the program, get the file, read the JSON into a variable, and then let's deserialize it. Now notice data. We have a good date time. Our string is still null, which is perfect. So everything worked fine. So now you see how we can use edit, paste special, and then the JSON if it's in your clipboard. In our second example, notice we just have a new file called school.json. I'm going to process it the same way. Let's take a look at that file. Notice our file is a little bit more complicated than our first example, but it's still not difficult. Now we just have a 10. Notice a 10 is a large object that has four arrays. Let's now copy this entire JSON object, Control C, into our clipboard, and then come into Visual Studios and say, edit, paste special, paste JSON as classes, and notice we get our output. I normally like to use list here instead of this kind of notation, but guess what? This is going to work. Let's take this object and let's come here and put it in here. Let's try to compile this and run it. I'll meet you on line 23. And notice that our object is now lessons, language, teachers, students, books, work for objects, and assistance. There you have it team. Another way to deserialize JSON objects. Now this is go real fast type technology. There are other web pages on the internet that allow you to do this same type of thing. So search for those if that's what you're really looking for to go super fast and don't do a bunch of programming. They're all available to us now. Now you still have to know how to, you know, like a deserialize your data. So these code generators are great. They can get you there but you'll still be responsible for that code. You can't say, oh, he, uh, he did it. You know, that was the way it was generated. Well, you use a code generator, that code is yours. That's just the way that is. Hey, I appreciate you supporting my channel, you know, giving me thumbs up, comments, and of course, subscribing. Look forward to seeing you back in my next video. Thanks again.